Yes, my first gig was at Peppermint Lounge in King's Cross, playing to about five people for uh, $75 an hour and all you could drink, and that was a pretty sweet deal at the time. The advice that I would have as for, for, to DJs is to probably not drink too much when you're DJing because you think that you're DJing really well but you're just like fucking it all up. I learnt that the hard way. <laughs> Feels really surreal and I, I mean I just feel every time I'm on stage doing these gigs I feel so grateful and I still get the nerves, I still get the butterflies. Especially on Saturday, last Saturday at Stereo Sonic, it was a pretty crazy feeling. But yeah, I just, I mean, it feels obviously amazing, but at the same time, it's just like, whoa, is this really happening? You have to like check yourself, you know? It's just, this is real life. I have to say that Stereo Sonic Sydney this year was definitely one of the best, one of the, you know, best gigs I've played for many reasons. Like, I mean, emotionally, you know, coming home after being away for so long and that being my first gig back in Australia, it was pretty special. And But also, you know, in the States, um, I played a warehouse party for uh, day uh, for uh, Halloween and uh, Pier 94, and that was 10,000 kids in a warehouse just raving. So that was amazing as well. Tomorrowland in Belgium, three waterfalls in the tent. You know, that, that was pretty crazy to play in a, you know, 6,000 person tent with three waterfalls and, you know, there's just, there's a lot of really great gigs out there in the world. I mean, I just don't know how you, you rate them all, you know? <laughs>